Hi, this is Nate Storer with Bright Acre Tech, and I'm going to talk about parsley. So this is a tower of Italian large leaf parsley. I grabbed it from the back of the tower mass. It was one of the more manageable towers. This crop gets big, so don't plant uh, large leaf parsley in, unless you expect some really big statured plants um, to be growing in your towers. So that can be a good thing, that can be a bad thing. Um, even this tower, even though it was at the back, even though it was kind of shaded, it still looks pretty darn good and it was certainly one of the smaller towers out there. Parsley is a great crop. A lot of people love it, a lot of people want to use it. Anything Italian, and especially in a lot of summer salads and dishes where they kind of want a crisp and a fresh flavor, a, uh, Italian large leaf parsley is a great addition to any of those recipes. So it's in high demand over the summer, but it grows really well year round. Um, as a crop, it is kind of a slow germinator, so we're like three to four weeks on germination, depending on kind of your facilities. And it's about another three to four weeks before transplant. Once it's transplanted, you're looking at about five weeks before it starts to be harvestable. Now, the great thing about this crop is that you can harvest it again and again and again, and it will just kind of keep doing this vegetative reproduction so long as you keep your temperatures in your greenhouse cool. So it likes the cooler temperatures. Uh, Hayden down here at Bayberry Fresh actually starts a lot of his uh, parsley in the middle of the winter. And it will grow really quite well through the winter. Although it prefers, you know, 12 to 18 hours of, of day length, you can grow it on less and it will grow. And um, so in that regard, it's a great crop. It's really easy to start early. And because it's kind of this continual harvest crop, all of that investment of time on the front end pays off because you can cut it again and again and again, and it just keeps regrowing. Now, parsley um, does uh, prefer a pH somewhere between six and seven. So kind of a very average kind of pH. It doesn't like things too uh, super acidic and it doesn't like things uh, basic. But you know, you stick between six and seven and you're gonna be really happy with it. Really the only thing that it does like is some of those cooler production temperatures. Although it's this really hardy crop and it will survive some of the hot flashes that you might get kind of in a greenhouse where your temperatures kind of spike. So, um, so yeah, I mean, it can be a really great crop for, for producers. One, uh, you know, it's, it's fairly easy to grow. It takes a little time to get it established, but it's easy to grow. It's very hardy. It tolerates a lot of, um, uh, different pH ranges and EC ranges, but by and large, you're shooting for somewhere between six and seven. And uh, you know, it's, it's very happy with just about everything else. Um, as a crop, it's got great flavor, and especially when it's grown hydroponically or aquaponically uh, with lots of water, it tends to be a crop that, that grows very quickly and produces lots of nice big leaves. Now, a lot of the time, the uh, restaurant uh, chefs and the supermarkets aren't actually even used to kind of seeing parsley of this stature because what they're getting is kind of this wilted sad stuff on a truck. So being able to offer them fresh parsley with nice big leaves, a lot of the time they're very sweet, um, can be a great thing for you as a small producer. Seed is not particularly expensive uh, with parsley and again because it is a continual harvest crop you don't have to worry about planting seed that often. And that's a really, really great thing for uh, producers. The less planting you can be doing, the more harvesting you can be doing, means you're making more money. There are a lot of different varieties of parsley. The two most common ones are kind of like a frilled leaf uh, parsley, and there are a number of different names um, in that kind of category of parsleys. And they are mostly a garnish, right? They're mostly a garnish. They don't have the best flavor. They tend to be pretty tough. The one, the parsley that's used mostly for cooking is your Italian large leaf. And that's what, that's what this plant is here. It's got great flavor and uh, it can have a very kind of sweet flavor to it. Lots of aromatics, uh, which means that, you know, fresh, it is so much better than anything that's been cut for any period of time. It's not particularly prone to pests. Another great thing about parsley, you don't have to worry about things getting out of control. I have seen aphids on it. I have on occasion seen thrips. Um, in some growers greenhouses with parsley, but by and large, it's a really hardy crop and you don't have to worry too much about pests. All right, thanks so much for tuning in and learning a little bit more about parsley with us. If you have more questions, check out the blog and check out our recommended crops list. We go into a lot more detail there. Thanks so much for watching and if you find value in this, please do subscribe.